Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be recreating a uh, part of the Wind River Range in Wyoming. I'm very, very excited for this one because this is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in the United States. I've been trying to recreate it for years, uh, and unfortunately all I had access to ever was 30 meter resolution data. Unfortunately, the issue with that is that when it comes to resolving things like very big cliffs, such as makes this place iconic, it doesn't do a very good job. So recently I was able to access one meter resolution data for this, which is incredible. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show that. I was doing it through a website called Open Topography. In order to access the high resolution data, you need a valid.edu email. So it is publicly funded data, so it should be widely available. But for some reason at this stage, it's only available to people with a valid.edu email. So in other words, it's restricted to academics. That's fine for me because I have a valid.edu email. The reason I can't show it in this video is because all of the footage just shows my email, my real first and last name, uh, very clearly. So I don't want to dox myself. So unfortunately, I've had to cut that part out of the video, which is why you see me starting a world machine with an already created height map. But if anybody's curious in the future about how I'm able to grab this uh, high resolution data, I'd definitely be interested in making a video on that. So just let me know. Anyway, most of this video, I'm not going to be talking, but there is at least one point where I interject because I want to talk about geology. So hope you guys enjoy this one.
So just to give a little bit more context for what I'm doing in this next part, I wanted to show off some Google Earth imagery of the Wind River Range. So you'll notice that in a majority of the range, uh, the rock is made up of this darker gray color. And most of that is the, the sort of basement of the North American continent. It's, it's, it's a wide variety of ranges, but let's just for simplicity in this video, call it about 2 billion years old. So it's very old and comes from very deep down. And this cliff right here, this is one that I'm focusing on. Most of the rocks in here are not basement. They're much younger than that. They're about somewhere between 300 and 500 million years old, depending on how high up on the mountain you are. And those are the, this is the Paleozoic section. It's a lot of limestones and then sort of near the top, it transitions into some sandstones. But the reason that these are exposed here in the middle of this big sea of granite is that the Wind River Range is a type of mountain called a laramide structure. So there's this period of mountain building event in North America where deep, deep rocks from the basement of North America were shoved up to the surface. And not only were they shoved up to the surface, they were shoved up and over, basically sitting on top of the sedimentary section that had built up over the past 500 million years or so. And so this is a great example of it. This is kind of a famous geology spot. And you'll see, you can see pretty well over here, you can see that the Paleozoic sedimentary rocks are sort of sitting actually beneath this dark gray crystalline basement over here. And you can see it's a little bit harder to see over here because interestingly, the basement's been eroded away by glaciers. But this angle right here is another thrust fault where you have this crystalline basement being shoved up and over this side. Although this one's a much smaller fault. This is called the Osborne thrust. And the main one over here is called the White Rock thrust. And this mountain right here is called White Rock. So I really want to try and recreate it in Minecraft because I like geology. And my introduction to this place was actually uh, mapping during a summer geology field course. So I want to get it right. But in Minecraft, there's just not a lot of blocks that really have this color. And I'm sure you could achieve the same effect by texturing uh, and using a big color palette with a bunch of different blocks. But I don't know how to do that. I'm not smart. So you'll see in the next couple of sections that I, I try to do that. I want geological accuracy, but at the same time, I don't want to sacrifice having my map actually look good.